my plus top, plus top, plus top. Uh, this first topic I want to start on and, and kind of see where it takes us is kind of one that hit me personally in this last week. So I'm pulling this up here, this article from AZ Central. Uh, Arizona Diamondbacks fans fuming over limited Valley Sports, Arizona TV, and streaming options. Um, I thought that because I bought accident. Well, OK, so here's my story. About a month ago, I wanted to watch some Suns games and I don't have cable or satellite at my house. So I was like, oh, Bally's has this streaming service, $20 a month. I'll pay for one month, see how it goes, um, watch some Suns games and maybe Diamondbacks games when it starts. And so been watching Suns games and I meant to cancel it, but it, I, I ended up renewing for a second month because I forgot to cancel it. Everyone, everyone's been in that dilemma before, but I go one night, I think it was opening day or the second game. I go to watch the Diamondbacks game and it's nowhere to be found on the streaming app. And as this article points out, you can watch it through their app, but you have to sign in through your cable provider. So if you just have their streaming, their $20 a month streaming service, you can't watch Diamondbacks games. And so it's pissing off a lot of fans, man. I mean, I, I obviously can't finally canceled my subscription so it'll be over i think the beginning of may or whatever but ian as a maybe uh you adopted the d-backs as your second team now i don't know but does this kind of like does this piss you off like not being able to catch the games at all absolutely dude like i like, the only reason that i haven't i i, I can't say a hundred percent with conviction that I have adopted the Diamondbacks as my number two team is I can't watch them. I live 15 minutes from the stadium. I can't see a game without going there. Like it's, it's ridiculous, man. Um, I, I didn't know you had to sign into a cable provider and do all that either. Um, I did know that they're only streaming 159 games. Like they're not even streaming every every Diamondbacks game and, and right. it to, to have these restrictions in 2023 is it, it's just insane to me. Like we got to be done with Bally. I know their, their days are numbered with uh, filing for bankruptcy anyway, but really I I've seen talks where Rob Manfred is, is, is debating what to do now that Bally or Fox sports or whatever the, the parent company is called uh, that's falling under. Um, there's, there's talks about buying regional sports networks to either add local, a local option to MLB.tv, um, or just, just come out with some kind of alternative so that people can watch their home teams because it's, it's insane that I, I mean, we shouldn't be have to, we shouldn't be forced to sell out, shell out like $80 a month to watch teams that we're right next to and yeah uh yeah i'm trying to figure out how to set up a vpn in the meantime i don't know what else to do it's yeah it's truly like you know it it's it both stinks and is like good that valley sports i think overall it's probably a good thing that valley sports is uh going to declare bankruptcy and be broken up because it seems almost like a dumb idea not to go and like break it apart and make have the MLB come in and say okay each team or each team even say hey I I am going to go and we are going to make a package that every single game of ours if you are a like let's say Diamondbacks fan you can go and get your full like every single game diamondbacks through this subscription to us that would be successful for every single one of these teams because the teams it's national now you're not going to have just the local fans you're gonna have people who have moved away moved around that may or may not even have a, a national sports franchise in their town in their state in their metro area that can go and actually participate in this so it needs to be more accessible through streaming and not just through streaming if you have a cable membership as well too. Yeah, it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. And I was trying to find a way to reiterate what a video I saw earlier, but then I was like, you know what? Why don't I just share the video I saw earlier? And I know uh, TikToks are bad or whatever, but um, 
that's where I saw it. So that's where we're going to watch it. This guy <laughs> just fucking nails it. I can't believe this. We're not America's pastime anymore. The kids these days, they just don't have enough attention span to watch good baseball. You know what? We should make the game shorter. Hey, MLB, young baseball fan here. So I've got a ton of time on my hands now that I'm not in school. And, you know, I want to get the whole thing. So give me the package where I can watch all of the baseball games. This is great. Uh, we can give you a package with 27 out of the 30 teams. Oh, um, okay. Uh, slight, slight issue with that, though, is that, you know, one of the teams you're blacking out is the Braves, and, you know, that's kind of the whole reason why I'm doing this, so. Uh, there's not really much we can do about that one. You're going to have to go talk to Bally there. Yeah, Bally Sports here. How can we help you today? Hey, Bally, so I'm a huge Braves fan, but, you know, I don't live in Atlanta anymore. Can I just, like, pay you guys so I can watch all these Braves games? Ooh, you don't live in Georgia, but you still live in a surrounding state. That's tough for you, buddy. Uh, I hate to break it to you. We actually have zero packages for you. Okay, um, so you don't want my money. Uh, that's great. How how am I supposed to watch Braves games here? Here's what you could do. And if you're actually a real Braves fan, you'll do this. Uh, first thing, I need you to cancel your YouTube TV subscription. Just completely get rid of it. And I need you to subscribe to a service that's not only inferior, but it's also $30 a month more. On top of that, I need you to also subscribe to our sports package so you're paying even more on top of that. And then you'll be able to watch the Braves games, maybe, sometimes. And that's that's truly how I feel. And like for someone like Ben who doesn't live in Arizona anymore, like is it even possible for you to watch Diamondbacks games if they're not nationally televised? Uh, yeah, it's called going to, on May fourth and fifth to Texas Rangers Stadium uh, when the <laughs> Diamondbacks are in town. <laughs> Hell yeah! Well, at least that's uh, happening it, earlier in the season, right? Uh, which I'm very very much looking forward to going to uh, one of those games. Uh, the Rangers have a new stadium. It's only two years old. It's beautiful and it's a dome. So it's covered now, which is amazing. Um, but no, it's, it's absolutely horrible. And you run into the same things with, I hate to go back to college sports, but with like the PAC 12 network or these other individual networks that don't have the same national access, even online to view than, uh, anyone else. So just like, allow us to watch the games. We are fans. We will pay money for the games if it's not unreasonable. Yeah. Ian, when, in watching that video, do you agree with that fans assessment where it's like people want to blame like, oh, the kids these days, their attention span, we're making all these changes to the rules to accommodate that. Or do you think it is kind of like how difficult it is to watch? And, and to add my perspective a little bit is like, for me, like I said, I don't have cable. Like I feel like everyone, like their parents bought c cable or satellite, but now I, I don't know a lot of people who do that anymore. Yeah, I, I think it's a little bit of both. Like I, I feel for that dude being a Braves fan, because when you look at the sports market for the Atlanta Braves, it's the entire South minus Florida and Texas. It's so, it's so big. Um, it's, it's seriously like five States. Um, Maybe more. Is there an MLB team in North Carolina? No. In Tennessee? No. They have the Nashville Sounds. It's the closest thing they have, which is minor league. It's the, so the, the closest games, the the only teams in the in the South, like the the South South, right? Where we can define Texas as, as its own thing. Yeah, like Antebellum South. Yeah. The the Braves, the Rays. And the the uh, Marlins, the Marlins. Yep. Here you go, Ben. Yeah, there you go. Look, like, look at how much ground wow. Atlanta is covering. It's it's insane. St. Louis, maybe you can consider. I guess I don't. C I don't. Know. Cincy looks like it's going to be, be a Red fan. <laughs> yeah. Um, but the other side to that coin is people saying kids these days have no attention span. Yada yada. Baseball doesn't need to be three hours long, man. I like fuck right off with that uh, that argument. I I I I I can't with people arguing for tradition and all that stuff. Like things do need to change in order to stay relevant. You know what I mean? It those kinds of arguments remind me of like how it must have felt to hear arguments against the three point line back in the eighties. <laughs> like it just no things have to change. Like it, you have to stay keeping things interesting it can't be the same the same things over and over again so I, I i am for the pitch clock i'm for the the um 
what was the other rule? The, the in, ba making the bases bigger. That's that, that's all good. Um, make, I think making them bigger. They're still too small. <laughs> I want to see comically large bases.